Welcome to Kid Crew. Look at this street, it's a mess. Good thing we have a Kid Crew street sweeper. Do you think we can clean it all up with our truck? Turn on the brushes and go. Wow, it's cleaning the street and collecting dirt in its hopper. What a big rig to drive. It's making a huge difference. We'd better move onto the sidewalk. There's a huge pile of pine needles. Past the fire hydrant. Let's take a closer look. The brushes move dirt to the center pipe, where it's collected. The debris goes through the pipe and ends up in the hopper. Lights are on the back to alert other drivers. That's a smooth turn. For really dirty areas, we add water. Spray the brushes. It's doing such a good job. The sewer drain is getting clogged with all this debris. We need to clean it manually. Start with the shovel to get the dirt and leaves. Then pump up the sprayer. And wash the grate. Wow, what a difference. Now we need to load the street sweeper to meet up with a garbage truck. We're towing it with our tractor. It's really heavy. Start the engine. Raise the plow. This would be much easier if we had a pickup truck. Now let's unload the hopper. There's some of the junk we collected. Put it in the garbage can. Here's our friend trash truck. Dump the garbage can. Ooh, it's really wet in there. Then crush it. A bunch of trash fell out. Oh, it got it. Bye. Now he's headed to the landfill to dump his load. Wow. The car is so dirty. I have an idea. Do you think we can wash it with the street sweeper? If we tip the street sweeper on its side, we might be able to make a car wash. Turn on the brush. Spray it first. It's working. Watch out for the mirror. Hmm, oops, that didn't really work, and now it's broken. It was a fun experiment, but let's use the pressure washer instead. Connect the hose. Turn on the water. Turn on the pressure washer. First, we spray the car to get it all wet. That looks like it was on purpose. <laughs> it's pushing away the dirt. Then attach the foam cannon. Cover the car in soap. It's so soapy. Now rinse it off at high pressure. Ah, 
Yeah, that looks funny. Yeah, it is a car wash. Look at how dirty the other side is. It made a huge difference. Do you like the water senior carrots? Oh, hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, you sure did. It's hard not to get wet when you're using a pressure washer. <laughs> now he wants to be sprayed. So refreshing. <laughs> Can't resist a puddle. You go. Okay, here's Daddy. Oh! Lots of crack. It floats! <laughs> Look! A rainbow! Now let's learn how it works. This is how electrical circuits work. First, never play with electricity or power outlets. Energy is stored in a battery that has both positive and negative connections. I'll demonstrate with this motor. It's just like what we used on the street sweeper. Let's trace the wires. The motor must be between the battery connections for electricity to flow. This is a switch. Inside, there are two pieces of metal that are forced together when you press the button. When this happens, electricity can flow and the motor spins. It works the same with big motors, police lights, and even the electronics on this real street sweeper. You guys want to come over? He'll show you. He, he loves explaining right. it. This sweeper spins around. Uh-huh. What does this do? And then it goes into that. Oh, wow. And then there's like a big box here. And wow. Like, and then it goes right here. How do I turn it off? What? Why do I turn it off? Oh, I can't hear you. Here's the switch on the dashboard. <laughs> well, you said let's break something. And you did. Thank you for watching Kid Crew. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more videos where kids do real work.